Hey everyone, so in this problem we're going to integrate e to the square root of x with respect to x. So if you had an integral like this and you didn't know how to do it, what you would probably do is you would start by calling this u and then just seeing what happens. So let's try that. So we'll call this piece u, so u is equal to the square root of x. Then the natural thing to do now is to compute du. However, um, the square root of x is really x to the one half, and so when you compute the du, it's a bit messy. So it might be easier to square both sides first. So if we square the left-hand side, we get u squared. When you square the square root, it goes away, so you get x. Now we'll take the derivative. So here the derivative will be 2u du, and then here it's just dx. All right, now we're ready to make our substitution, and let's see what happens. So we have the integral of e to the u, and then dx is 2u du, so it'll be 2u e to the u du, right? Because this is our e to the u, and this is our dx, right? 2u du. Now for this one, we can use what's called tabular. So recall, for tabular, you pick the piece that is eventually 0 after you repeat differentiation, so that would be 2u, and then you just differentiate it, so 2, 0. Right? The derivative of 2u is 2, the derivative of 2 is 0. Then you pick the piece you're going to integrate, so e to the u, and then you just keep integrating it, right? So e to the u, e to the u. You do plus, minus plus. You always start with plus, then you get alternate, and then you just draw arrows. That's it. That's the answer. So it'd be 2u e to the u, 2u e to the u, minus 2 e to the u, plus our constant c. So again, with tabular, you pick the piece that, after repeated differentiation, is eventually 0, and then you integrate the other piece. So just keep differentiating, then you just keep integrating this one, Always oh, start with the plus, so plus minus plus. Follow the arrows, boom, there it is. Last thing to do is replace u with the square root of x. So we get 2 square root of x, e to the square root of x, minus 2 e to the square root of x, plus our constant c. That's it. Hope that helped.